Hello and welcome back. Today we're starting here in the mini studio. Let's take a look at how the 60p aquarium is doing as well as the lily pipes that we just set up a couple of days ago. So you can see there's still no algae growth which is great but surely in a few more days we're gonna get some algae growth and soon we'll have to clean it out. But you can see the fish are doing great. I think the lily pipes really help with the flow because the other pipes had a really strong fast flow which I don't think the fish really like. So this gives it a more gentle flow spread throughout the tank, which the plants also will appreciate. I want to show you this right here. This plant I haven't showed you very much, and that's because it's only starting to grow. That is a Cryptocorin axelrodi, and you can see its leaves are very, very thin. I've got more in the back there. You can see there's a whole bunch of moss that I didn't trim the last time, but there's some crypts behind there, and then there's some more in the corner over here, but it's also covered up by the Thalassneria. So crypts are starting to become one of my favorite aquarium plants, and that's because they're super easy. There's so many varieties of them, and they look amazing. Also, some of you might find this a little bit crazy, but I used to think crypts were hard to keep, hard to care for, and that's because they melt. And I thought just because they melt, they must be very hard to care for. But then I started to research more and more, and they're super easy plant. They require low lighting, they don't need CO2, and they can go without fertilizers. But it would be good if you had root tabs, because they do take in a lot of nutrients from the roots. So if you put root tabs in, it'll really help them out. That's basically it. So this here in the back is Cryptocorin Wenty Green. You can see there's some melt as well as some new growth. There's some baby leaves starting to come out, which is amazing. And soon, that was pl planted pretty recent. They will become like this. Look at the amazing growth on this. This is the Undulatus Red, so this is a different type of crypt, and it's still small. It can grow much bigger, and I'm really excited for that. This here is the Cryptocorin Lucens. It's also still small, so hopefully this one grows a little bit taller. That's what I'm hoping for. And then this here, this is my current favorite. This is the Cryptocorin Tropica, and I like it because of the textures on its leaves. And this also is still young. So there's basically only two downsides to having crypts, and that is that they melt, which is all right. It's not really a downside, it's just them adjusting to their new conditions. And the other one is that they take a long time to grow, but that's the fun of it. You get to watch it grow. I just turned my cons into pros, which is all right, because I love these crypts, and I'm hoping to get more in this tank, and maybe in this tank in the future. Today, though, I have some stuff I want to get done in this fish room, and that is, first, I want to move these fish over to this tank right here. I think they're ready for it. And I want to neaten up some of these uh, wires down below, as well as add this light. This is a four-foot light up here. And you can see I've put an extension cord right there. I fixed it onto the shelving so that it doesn't move around, and I've got to neaten up some wires, and I'm really excited to do that. I know it doesn't sound exciting, but I kind of really love doing all this stuff and tinkering with these and trying to mount them to make them look cleaner. It's kind of like when I painted this. It really sucks. It, it takes time to do this and a lot of hard work, but the outcome, once it's all done, it's really satisfying and it's just nice. And the painting is not done too yet. You can see up above, I, I think I'm gonna go white for the ceilings, but yeah, I've got some more stuff to paint and Then we'll probably have a rack here in the future. Uh, we'll see what happens, but Yeah, all right, let's get back to this Perfect it's still early in the morning, so the lights haven't turned on yet, but I just plug this in and it is looking amazing. I'm really liking this. From a distance, you can't even see the light and it lights up the tank. Not the brightest, but I don't plan on using high light plants here, so I think this right there will be just Perfect, now I've got to neaten up the cables. Just a quick tip for all the fish keepers out there, some of you probably already do this, but when you buy lights and heaters and filters and stuff, you'll get these cables. 
And you don't want to throw these away because you can use them to neaten up your wires. So yeah, don't don't throw these away. It's looking so much better now. You can hardly see a single wire except for this piece right here, but that's only there temporarily. Let me give you a better look underneath. So look at that. I've tucked everything up above so you can see nothing is getting in the way and yeah I'm really happy with it. The lights aren't turned on yet but they will very shortly. Let's take a look at this tank. You can see the manos are all swimming around because I just dropped a few pellets in there. Look this guy has a pellet right here. They're always hungry and they've cleaned up the algae so well. I can't even see a single bit of algae in this tank anymore. I'm gonna drop some food in and we'll see how they react. Let's see what happens. Alright, we gotta get this to sink. Look, there's a shrimp right there. I think, oh yeah, look at that. These guys are super fast when it comes to food. Look, this guy is also searching. And there's another one. Oh yeah, that guy got food. Yeah, so these guys are always hungry. They're always eating, so you gotta make sure that they're fed well. Look at this guy, he's just swimming around holding a piece of food. Next up, I'm gonna move these fish over. These are the Sabwa resplendens or the Asian Rominos Rosbora. Look at that beautiful fish right there. So I'm gonna move these guys over to this tank and I've already moved a couple as you can see right there a few days ago just to make sure that everything is fine and they're doing all right. You can see there's algae growing on the tank which is a good sign, it means the tank is cycled and ready. So let's go and get that done. Alright, so I've moved all the fish over. The Sabo resplendents are in this tank right here, you can see them. Yeah, they're probably a little bit scared right now. I've moved the honey guramis down below, just for now. Maybe we'll leave them in there, I'm not so sure, but we'll see how it goes there. Let me know in the comment section down below, what other fish do you want to see in this tank? I know it may be boring, but I want to get some neon tetras or cardinal tetras for this tank. I just think a big school of them would look amazing in this tank. So I'll put a poll up there, either neons or cardinals, you let me know. If we get neons, then maybe I can add 30 in here. If cardinals, then maybe 20 because cardinals get slightly bigger. We'll see. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tank apart, take the water out, clean the glass up, and get it ready for the next scape. It's not really a scape, but the next setup. One thing I want to get done in the future is I want to build a drain pipe that goes outside into the garden or something uh, because this keeps happening. I keep getting the floor wet when I do water changes or when I just take water out because I'm currently using the bucket method so I really want to get like a PVC pipe going out. And check that out, the tank looks brand new. Now it's ready for the next setup. And you see this gap right here. Right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the water level down of this tank and try to slide it over. As you can see, I ended up moving this tank from there to there and kind of switching the tanks around. So now it's more in order. We set this tank up first, then we set this tank up and now we can do this tank and then that tank. And I'm really liking it. Unfortunately, I still can't close the gap because I don't have a place elsewhere to move that air pump and the wire is too short. You can see it's a really small air pump and I don't have a choice right now. I have a larger air pump there but I don't want to hook it up yet because I only have two tanks right now and um, I currently don't need that. I do want to hook it up over there but then I'd have to do all the pipe work and I don't know where the other tanks are gonna sit yet so I can't really hook that up. I hope some of you understand what I just said there. I can't get everything all done in one go because it's impossible because I still have more tanks that I'm hoping to get and set up so 
Right now, it's going to be like this. I will still be able to move this in the future. I want all this to be on this side. I'm going to come back tomorrow, check on how everything is doing, and then we'll start setting up this tank. I'm probably not going to set the whole thing up because I don't have all the supplies. I don't have the plants. I don't have enough soil. I do have a little bit of soil there, but it's not enough. And check that out. I've got a box, aquarium co-op. Excited to show you guys what's in that, but that'll have to wait for another video. And check this out. So I've got this lid. Oh my goodness, that is an epic fail. All right, that was a huge fail, but yeah, so I've got these temporary lids and these are actually flippy lids. Hope I don't drop it again, but these are flippy lids for the 45 cm tank right here. And I'm just using it for this tank right now because I don't want the honey gouramis and the shrimp to jump out. Look at the shrimp. They're looking really good. Amano shrimp are known to jump out, so you want to try to cover it when you can. And I'll be back. All right, it's the next day now, and today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start setting this tank up. We, we probably won't get the whole thing done, but I want to get it started. Take a look at how well the Crips are doing in this tank. This is the Crip 20 Tropica. And it's growing quite a bit, very slow, as I mentioned before, Crips are slow growers. You can see the Wenty green in the back as well, but yeah, really loving this Crypt. This here, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's not growing upwards, it's kind of growing flat. This is Cryptocorin Lucens. Maybe it's still not used to this setup yet, so we'll just have to wait and see. It is looking good, the colors are there, there's no melt, it's just, for some reason, growing downwards. I'm not gonna record everything because it's basically the same setup as these two and I've already got videos for that. But first things first, I put in the pumice stone. Um, it's a very light porous rock that just holds beneficial bacteria. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some soil over that. I'm gonna stop it right there. I ran out of soil. There is a lot of soil, but I still wanna add a little bit more for the setup. And then when I set this tank up, I'm gonna make a video and you'll get to see what plants I get for this tank. If you can guess, try to guess down below. It's a type of cryptocorin that I haven't used yet. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to this channel. I'm sweating like crazy because it's hot in here and I don't have the aircon on, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go take a break now and I'll see you in the next video.